that uh, dance is a big deal here in the state of Utah, so much so you probably know of at least one or two people who have taken up the hobby at some point in their lives or even taken the professional path. It's a sport. In today's Belonging in Utah, we're learning about a local university associate professor who's putting the spotlight on black history in the world of ballet. Jamie McGriff with this story. The trailblazing research being done by Dr. Joseli Deans cannot be overlooked. Her work, so compelling, it grabbed the attention of local faculty at one of the oldest and largest dance programs in the country. It's been said, dancers don't need wings to fly. They have this special ability of using every move to make music visible. In Salt Lake City at the University of Utah School of Dance. Was this your debut? This was my debut here at the university as a performer. This is me playing the queen um, during our a version of the third act of Sleeping Beauty last year. Dr. Joseli Deans, a newcomer. Learning is not a task, it's not a chore, it's a lifestyle. Is helping to take this school to the next level. And they were very interested in the fact that I brought this a history of blacks in ballet, which is just beginning to really uh, take a foothold in major storytelling. I want to show you this. My role is to teach dance history, as you can see, dance writing, dance theory, and things that, that um, broaden people's understanding of the art of ballet. Initially convincing Dr. Deans to move to Utah from the East Coast took time and a lot of convincing. And I remember speaking to her gosh, probably six years ago or something, about, you know, would you ever consider coming to a place like Utah? And her response was priceless. It was a little bit like, why? <laughs> Dr. Melanie Buchanan-Murray is the director of U of U School of Dance. Like I said, I just think the world of Giselle. Her question, she believes, may have planted a seed. And so we had some interesting conversations about what it would be like to be a person of color and specifically a black woman in Utah. Thinking outside of the box ultimately won Joselli over. Sort of so she could test the waters um, in sort of a non-committal, not a full-time tenure line position, just a visiting, mm -hmm. come in, teach a couple of classes, meet the community. The mission is to have a faculty that reflects so, Utah's changing demographic. So ballet is historically a very white art form. Um, in the United States, people of color have historically been underrepresented in ballet. And having Dr. Deans with her racial and scholarly background to agree to further her research on black ballet while enlightening students here is a big deal. She is definitely the first tenure line faculty member in the ballet domain. And we're all learning from her. Most of us didn't realize that if you look at um, the history of ballet in the United States that that black communities in the United States have been studying ballet and performing ballet just as long as white communities. It just wasn't written into our histories. And we're gonna learn more about some of the black history in the world of ballet that Dr. Deans is sharing with students and also learn about some of her own experiences in the industry. Jamie McGriff, KUTV 2 News.